Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy, so listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors, started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at him. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who the hell is my ratchet wrench? So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... No, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but it's good advice. You here to buy something? Hey, Buzz. Here to check out my shit? Don't beat her up too bad. I'll fill her up. Sure. All right. Stop by any time. Just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. Gotta get the debt cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. How did I ever 
I trust this asshole? Hello. Guess Skizza won't be needing this. Go see Addy. Get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. Well, only one name on my shit list, Schizo. Yours. Schizo graduated with honors? What? I knew he wasn't a gangbanger. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What, what's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. This look like a fucking hoof to you. Addie? No, Addie? you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. There's so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. still save Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I wanna go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp. Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike is this some fucking treaty. You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. He'll be there. <laughs> Not 
goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not! All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there and pick her up for lunch. It's harder to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on.
head south from here. Following you. It's easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there.
Ricky called it the penstock, the big pipe at the base of the dam. Ah, got it. I'm heading there now. Charge. In position. Just move your ass. Okay, you try doing this with one hand and a blade. Hey, come on, man. Sometimes I wish I had a blade hand. And that's it. Rippers! Coming! Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? <sighs> What's up? Let's go find Jesse. You, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Alright, looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This, this is on Jesse. We'll get some payback. I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. I get my point. Oh, shit! More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Deke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. Uh. 
I can't! It's a breaker.
this. See more jacked up than usual. Oh yeah, they must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take.
There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. Either. No, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo said there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then. And what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... 
After all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. You know what? I guess I'm good with that. Humane Society had a small office and a dog pen. <laughs> I sisters. never knew that. Had maybe a hundred dogs, strays mostly. A few had owners who would show up eventually. One of the guys. You suppose the freakers feel call. anything? You know, from before. Like sad, happy. I heard about this cult over in Iron Butte. Oh, right. I used to be a cop. Believe it or not, and farewell. I think we had a pretty deke, good deke, deke. equipment and all. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? It got bad, fast. Where? How's it going? It wasn't just the looting. Hey, started I heard. You know, I mean, what you did for us, how you, the Rippers, all of them. I just, I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them? You know? Yeah. Look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had, it, we had to, <laughs> look, they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I, I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, yep. Hey, Deke, um, you be careful out there. Hey. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey! Hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up, sir. It's private property. Now turn around. Get the hell out of here. 
Come on. Okay. Move it. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here Jeez, to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to drive down to Klamath State to visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Oh, okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh. It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in the chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. 
Miss Whitaker. Yeah. Chief's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. I was in my classroom when I... I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment and all. But it got bad, fast. Hey, Deke, let me get the game. Runners! No, you don't. Jesse Carlos Williamson. Rest in peace. Always need this.
Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for. I got a use for you. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is, she, is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien? I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien? God damn it. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and the people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. job for you. Ricky, hey, um, okay, yeah, I'll check in. Deacon out. Information, what information, O'Brien? That would you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about it. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now. 
They're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer, Booze man, come back. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Hey, Iron Mike is, is not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every road trail in 100 miles, said there was a... Uh, Tielson, Tielson, yeah, that's it. Tielson, pass. Yeah, why the hell are you? Shit. I've talked to him. She's alive. Sarah's alive. Hey, okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh. Loser, you found her ID badge. Loser, uh. I, I think that she's alive. Dang. I've never lost her. I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I oh, I gotta find her. Yeah, that's right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, I get Annie need, need help with the uh, shell uh, I'll see you when you get back to camp. See you. I gotta say, I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. 